Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Saturday, July 16th. Elon Musk says that Tesla is waiting for inflation to calm down before the automaker will finally start reducing prices. Right around 2020 when something happened, part shortages and inflation hit the vehicle market pretty hard and the cost of materials began to rise. Tesla actually raised their prices before some of the cost increases hit, trying to stay ahead of the curve. Over the last two years, Teslas have increased in price from some 20 to 30 percent. For example, the Tesla Model Y started at 53000 in early 2020, and today that same vehicle goes for 66000 Interestingly, those price increases have not affected Tesla's demand, as the automaker still enjoys a significant backlog of orders, with some of the models still having a 6 to 10 month lead time. On Twitter, Elon Musk was asked about when we can expect the lower prices again, and he said that Tesla plans to lower them when inflation calms down. It's important to note that while Tesla has been increasing prices significantly over the last two years, its gross margin on vehicles has also improved, indicating that Tesla's increases have been greater than the costs that have gone up. Tesla says that this is because of the long backlog of orders, that when someone orders a car today, When it's finally delivered, it costs more for the automaker to produce. Tesla's Model Y and Model 3 exportation from Gigafactory Shanghai accounts for half of China's electric vehicle exportations the first half of this year. Early on, the Chinese factory was intended to sell only for the local Tesla market, and then the ramp up to production was so extraordinarily fast that Tesla decided to take advantage and use it as their export hub. Things were going well until the Chinese Communist Party shut down the Shanghai city and therefore halted production. Despite the major setback, according to data compiled by CNEV Post, Tesla's exports account for half of Chinese electric vehicle exports during the first half of the year. As of now, Tesla, Volvo, BMW, and Polestar are all exporting electric cars from China and having success using this model. California's power company, PG&E, announced that more than 1,500 Tesla Powerwall owners have already decided to join in the new virtual power plant that they launched in partnership with Tesla. The virtual power plant combines energy storage products, like the Tesla Powerwall, that the grid can tap into for excess use times balancing out electricity needs. Last month, Tesla and PG&E announced the program where homeowners with Powerwall would be compensated for helping the grid. In a new update, we learned that 1,500 customers have joined in. Participants will receive $2 per kilowatt hour that they send back into the grid during these emergency events. Meanwhile, in the state of Texas, Tesla is lobbying the power company to change their program to allow for compensation to owners with the Powerwall. Currently, Tesla is asking those owners to join in voluntarily and donate their energy capacity to demonstrate the capability of a virtual power plant. Following a completed SPAC merger and a fruitful first half of the year, Polestar CEO Thomas Inglath has shared the starting pricing of the Polestar 3 electric SUV. Polestar has only delivered two models, the Polestar 1, that's a plug-in hybrid, and then the Polestar 2 EV. Now we learn that the upcoming Polestar No. 3 electric SUV will be priced between $75,500 and $110,800. The SUV will be the first Polestar model that is built in the United States facility in South Carolina. Polestar expects to sell 24,000 of these worldwide next year. It will then be joined by the Polestar's fourth model, which is aptly named the Polestar 4. According to the CEO, this fourth vehicle, and it's also the second SUV, will quote, eventually start around 55,000 euros. And while the details are unclear so far, we're left to wonder what the initial version will cost. This week's Quick Charge is sponsored by Aventon Electric Bikes. Aventon offers premium e-bikes and accessories at a great value. Adventure delivered direct to your front door. Aventon offers a wide range of electric bicycles armed with a powerful e-bike motor that goes up to 28 miles per hour. Aventon's award-winning Pace 500 and 350 set a standard for upright cruiser e-bikes with new upgrades and design features. You can check out their website, aventon.com. That's A-V-E-N-T-O-N.com. In today's community comment found on YouTube, in reference to Tesla's head of artificial intelligence leaving, Philip Temple says, quote, If he was going to work for an EV or car company, he would stay at Tesla. 
He's a pretty wealthy guy now, so my guess is he will take tenure at a top university. Philip. Well, first of all, Philip, I should let you know that signing your internet comments as you would a handwritten letter dates you quite a bit, just to let you know. But to the point, I think that Andre Carpathy might very well leave the auto world altogether, just to get it over with, but I would not discount the idea of him working for another automaker. Tesla does have a very high turnover rate, even for executives, and I'm sure that those same reasons apply to Mr. Carpathy. Tesla is certainly leading the electric revolution. However, all that growth is not without a myriad of growing pains. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.